Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel! Today I am hopping along with all the new for the uh, October release. Very exciting! So let's have a little look at some of the stuff that I have got. And I would be remiss to not mention this gorgeous little tool. I do love a handy and pretty tool. So yes. All the new has added the perfect picker to their tool arsenal. And we will be using this. Yes, we will. Uh, we are also going to have a look at the Pretty Pumpkins layering die set. And I'm not going to lie, my first thought was to make a bunch of pastel pumpkins and then some rainbow ones. But we'll, we'll see. We might actually try to stick to some of these colours uh, using some of the previously released inks. The Butternut Squash, Pumpkin Pie, Yellow Okra and Sicilian Amber. Because they kind of look like they will work amazingly with this die cut so we're definitely going to do that so we have some projects already lined up today yes we also have the fairy land florals there is a um, 3d embossing folder and layering stencils and this is looking i mean look at this this is probably like a easier way of looking at it look at that look how pretty Ooh. yeah we're going to be using this as well yes maybe with some of the new colors released within this month's release as well that was a lot of, a lot of releases but we got um sun kissed orange cream autumn blaze and fire brick and we also have minty mint sweet leaf just green and hunter green and iceberg Eastern Sky, Ultramarine, and Acerite. So gorgeous blues. Mm. I, I need to kind of step away from blues and do other colors as well. But blue is my favorite color, so it's hard for me. So we also have some uh, press plates. So this is geometric central circles. So you get the, the big one, the big one, and three little ones, and then some patterns there. So we're probably going to be doing some either letter pressing or some hot boiling as well and then we had the geometric central square same thing big square three little squares and some patterns there so yes good 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 and then we have the balloons of friendship this one i am really looking forward to using because it's so pretty and i think i'm going to color this with some um alcohol markers i think and uh, there is also storage pockets I am very excited about storage pockets, especially the bigger ones, because some of these stamp sets are very, very big. And I do like keeping my stamps and dies and sometimes there's the 3D embossing folders and layering stencils and all of that. I like keeping it all together. So these are going to make it very easy to get organized. Yes, they are. Okay, so we are going to do this stamp set, The Blooms of Friendship. Uh, what I thought... At first, I was like, okay, we're going to color this in. We're going to make it super pretty. And then, of course, change the plan. So I have put a piece of cardstock in my stamp wheel. And what I was thinking is we're going to make a background first. So we are going to stamp up this gorgeous circular wreath. Or circular and wreath is basically the same thing, isn't it? What we're going to do is we're going to um, stamp this. I'm thinking kind of like in a bit of a roundabout pattern. And oops. And then we're going to... I want to almost like heat emboss this. But I don't think that's going to work with the plan that I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by stamping this with some black ink. And... ink needed oops oh boy oh boy making a big old mess here okay oh that's better all right and then we're gonna do this corner down here and we're gonna get a slightly different placement because i've 
moved my cardstock so it's not exactly in like the middle so that is another way of just like changing things up a little bit so it's not all like super samey and we just need a little bit more ink on this one And I wonder if I can kind of get one down. Ew. No. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this cardstock a little bit. And this is just a panel, so it doesn't matter that we're going to get some on there now. So we're going to place this here. And then we're going to stamp that corner there. So oh, it's that bit there. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Okay. And then we're gonna move this and place it there. And then we're gonna ink up again. And stamp up again. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, so on this one now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, color a little bit, I think. And um, and then I, oh, actually, I knew, do need to stamp up another one as well. Okay, so I am going to use the Rock Garden alcohol markers, the artist marker set. And we're going to color these in and then we're going to cut this one out and plop on top of that. So what I was thinking was we're going to color these in solidly and then these ones we're going to do kind of like a little bit um, willy-nilly, I guess is the best way to uh, describe it. So we are going to start with our teals. So we're going to do teal leaves and we're going to do super simple coloring here. So we're just going to smack down some of, some of the darker colors. So this is the third darkest color. And then we're just going to go lighter and lighter until we're using our lightest one. So we're getting, we're not going to get a, a super good blend because we still want to keep some of that like contrast and stuff. And then we're just going to add a little bit of color with the pinks or fuchsias for the berries. And then on the background here, we are going to do what I call like my dotting technique. So we're just going to go a little bit crazy with dots. Yes, that, that's our coloring for our background, which, okay, did actually not end up being in our background in the end, but I kind of like how this turned out, but I think I'm going to use this for something else. So I have used uh, the teals and some pinks. And then I also did go in with one of the kind of sandy colored because I thought, you know, that actually looks really, really nice. So I added some uh, of those onto our wreath here as well on the left. So I really like how this turned out. But now we're going to use our die cut. We're going to cut this out, that one, uh, not the other background. We are going to just cut out this one and then that is going to go... I mean, I, the plan was that that was going to go on top. But here I'm like, no, it just it just blends in too much. It just did not work at all. So I will keep that background for something else. And here I was like, OK, well, maybe I will layer up the wreath uh, with some layers. But then looking at that, I was like, you know what? It just looks nice when it's on like the white background. So we're just going to pop this down. But then, of course. <laughs> no we're not going to do just that we are going to take like the kind of woody branch wreath and we're going to stamp that up on our background and that is just to kind of fill it out a little bit and then we're going to pop this wreath on top or our colored wreath on top of our stamped wreath but we are going to also add a, um, a sentiment directly to this card base. So I took it out of my stamp wheel and then I was like, okay, we're going to get that right back in there. So we're going to stamp up the friendship one and we're also going to use a sentiment. Um, but the friendship one or, or part, we're going to stamp up on a separate piece of cardstock so that we can use the coordinating die cut, cut that out and add a couple of layers for a bit of dimension but the uh, sentiment itself we're just gonna 
stamp directly onto our background here. And now it's time to layer things up and add a little bit of bling. Yes! So we're just gonna add the wreath directly on top of our, our colored wreath on top of our stamped wreath. And then we're gonna add our friendship word die cut. And we're gonna go, I'm um, actually surprisingly non-crazy for the bling, but so I've only used the two, the smallest and the medium size. I thought that the biggest one was just a little bit too big. So we have gone, I would say, reasonably restrained, at least in my own opinion. But that is it from me for today. Uh, and don't forget that this is a video hop. So uh, there is actually a grand giveaway. There's $300 worth of prices. And so Altenew is actually giving away a $100 gift certificate to one grand winner and a total of four $50 gift certificates to another four people, obviously. Um, so all you gotta do is leave a comment on the Altenew video and also on this video and all the other stops on the hop and do that before October 9th. And then the winners will be drawn randomly and announced on the Altenew winner page on October 11th. So make sure you check that back or check back to see if you're one of the winners. And with that, it's I am all done for today and I hope to see you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and give this video a thumbs up and leave that comment for your chance to win. And I will see you soon again. Bye for now.